Hey guys and girls, my name is Alan and welcome to this gameplay commentary. Yes, you're seeing it, it's a video from me, it's ridiculous, I know. Um, so anyway, I had to look up how long ago it was since I last I hope you intend to win. posted a video uh, and it was actually a month ago. Pretty much a month bang on, which is a crazy amount of time in between videos, so I do apologise. Um, probably sound like a broken record now, but as I said in my previous video, I think I said in my previous video, um, someone had to take a bit of time off work, personal reasons, um, and... Well, that basically went from a couple of weeks and then it extended for some reason to a couple of months. Uh, still don't know why that person took that amount of time off. Uh, I have not spoke to them since they've returned uh, because we work on different days. But anyway, the point is they're back now, so hopefully I've got a bit more time to do stuff like this. Um, so yeah, a lot's gone down in the last month. Uh, both for Enchanted and for other games as well. So I have a lot to talk about. Uh, but I won't do it all in today's video, obviously, because it's not long enough. Um, so... I wanted it to be an Uncharted gameplay because I haven't done one of those for a lot longer than a month. Uh, the previous ones were, I think, all FPS games. Uh, so I wanted to bring back Uncharted for a little bit. Uh, well, well, I don't know, I might do another one after this one. Wait and see how I feel. But I definitely wanted to do Uncharted 1 on my return because uh, the hot news recently is, and you might have heard about this already if you uh, subscribe to my other channel, Acon Vision, um, is that Corp is coming to Uncharted 4 multiplayer. It's been confirmed. It is finally, finally coming to multiplayer um so they didn't give a specific date but uh they did say sometime in december and i think they said mid-december i think that's what they said um but i mean yeah if, if they say december they, they haven't given a specific date you're going to say somewhere in between right you're not going to say the start and hopefully it's not going to be the end of december but it could be um but december is the day that they've given uh, they've released a reveal trailer for it i have done an analysis of that trailer on my acon vision channel so head over there if you want to check out the things i spotted in the trailer if you haven't seen the trailer yet do check it out the first time like i i was really because obviously um naughty dog based in san francisco and so that's, that's set in the uh the east no west coast sorry and basically, obviously, their working hours are pretty much when I'm, I'm back from work, uh, or at least coming home from work. So I read this, uh, I think, in the afternoon, uh, late afternoon, something, something like that. Uh, and it just it just made my day. I was so happy. Uh, I couldn't stop smiling for the rest of the day. I know, as, as sad as it sounds, you know, uh, but that's just how much I enjoy co-op. And uh, something else happened also as well on, uh, a couple of days before that. So the timing was just really good. Um, maybe you're interested to know, but uh, basically, the person I play caught with uh, has been offline for a little bit of time. Um, I don't know why exactly, but the uh, point is they've come back online, and it just so happens that a couple of days later we find out that Corp is, is going to be uh, added to multiplayer. So, uh, funny coincidence, happy coincidence. Uh, so, I was just happy for the last couple of days. Uh, that was really nice. Um, and yeah, so a lot of big changes have happened to Enchanted 4 multiplayer recently. Um, the biggest one is is plunder, I suppose. They've changed the player count from five to, uh, from four to five, so it's no longer as easy as it used to be. Uh, but on the flip side, it's no longer as well. I, no, I guess it's still kind of frustrating. Um, but basically, plunder. If you were, you know, if you got into a lobby with some crap players, you would absolutely dominate, like because you versus four players is is pretty standard stuff, especially with the retimer, uh, respawn timer, and everything. Uh, but now they've made it five players versus five players. Uh, you, it's not as easy to dominate uh, because even if there are five crap players, it's still five players you need to take out, right? Um, so it's it's a little bit trickier, but you know, it's, it just means more kills all around, I guess. Um, what I have noticed though is that there are a lot more like sidekicks and stuff floating around and that can get like pretty damn annoying as well as nades and stuff like that flying around as well um so i don't i mean yeah i kind of like there being more players just because there's more action going on but at the same time i kind of liked it when i was dominating versus a, a you know play a, a four four player team so i don't know swings and roundabouts i suppose um i haven't really talked about the class that i've been using uh so <laughs> again another kind of funny story is that I actually went through my videos and uh, this is a little bit later than say the previous video that I uh, that I uploaded but uh, chronologically I mean uh, gameplay wise so I just went through the videos and I was looking through them and I have quite a lot of the same sort of stuff like I've said it before but if I find something I enjoy using or if I'm good at using I'll just continue to use it like to the point where I get bored of it um, so there was a lot of HS39 games, there was a lot of para games, and there was actually a couple of uh, Cophead games as well. So I must have gone for like a phase or something. Um, 
But then I come across this one and it's uh, my first decent match of the Mesa Sniper and then using the Fossa as my secondary. And I think this was the match where I've, I found out that the Fossa was actually a pretty decent weapon. So then after this video at some point I do start using it uh, quite a lot and I'll obviously show you footage of that when it comes up um, well, on my to-do list I suppose. But, uh, but yeah, I guess kind of old topic now, but still topics I haven't talked about, so this is still kind of new, I suppose, right? Um, but yeah, so sniping in this game, I've said it before, I don't particularly enjoy it because of the fact it's so hard to get one hit downs. Um, it has to be a headshot, anything less than that is going to be a hit marker. And then even if you've downed someone, you still need to confirm the kills, so I don't know, it just... Sniping in this game just doesn't really make that much sense to me. Um, if you kill someone cross map, if you down someone cross map rather, you then need to hope that they either bleed out or you have to try and confirm it or, or one of your teammates confirm it and that doesn't always happen so they get revived and then what, what have you done? Nothing. You've inconvenienced them is what you've done. Um, and obviously sniping in CQC is never a good idea unless you quick scope, which I mean you can sort of do in this game, but again hit markers, so if you get a quick scope hit marker, they kill you, and then what what have you achieved? Nothing. So yeah, I mean this is one of very few matches I've got with the sniper and I don't think I use it much more after this. Um, it was just to obviously, you know, get a feel for the game and just show you guys and girls. Well, as well as myself, you know, I I I well, I won't go as far as to say I recorded it just for you to enjoy, but uh you know, it's just a taste all around. So it was a taste for me, and I guess if you've not really seen me snipe before, then you sort of know how I do it now. And also, the mine. Uh, I don't really use it that often, uh, but this is one game where I do kind of use it because uh, with most of my sniping classes, I always put on like a, a mine or claymore or something like that, uh, whether it's, you know, Uncharted or Call of Duty, Battlefield. I get fucking crapped up by that dude. I, th I mean, I, I roll out the way so I technically shouldn't have died, but the rope swings in this game, oh, I both love and hate them. Getting them is great, but sometimes there are some situ there are too many situations where I get crapped on, and it's situations where I thought I would have avoided it or rolled away, that sort of thing, but no. Nah. Anyway, went off on a bit of a tangent there. So the mine, um, why do I bring it? I bring it because of the same reason I bring a claymore, is to watch my six. It's to cut off a pathway. So when I'm sniping, obviously you, you don't want to have, you don't want to have to worry about 360 degree view. So you want to get yourself somewhere elevated. You want to put you back to the wall, and you want to uh, reduce the number of sight lines that you need to concentrate on. So if you've got a mine watching one in the alleyways, for example, then you can concentrate on the front, maybe to the to the side. You never want to have too much to concentrate on, otherwise you're just going to get flanked, you're just going to get killed, and then there's no point sniping. Um, so anyway, that is the gameplay. Um, hopefully, more videos to go up soon. I know I keep saying I want to concentrate more on the channel, but I. I promise you moving forward, I will try definitely to get more. Definitely one more video than every month, uh, if you know what I mean. But yeah, so that's me sniping in Uncharted 4 multiplayer. As I said, one of very few matches, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Consider tapping that like button if you did, I would appreciate it greatly. What are your thoughts on sniping in Uncharted 4 multiplayer? Let me know in the comment section below. But until next time, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, take care, and I will see you later.